Yep. That was bad. Oh, that's a good one. That's a monster there. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I forgot to do an intro for the beginning of this video, so I'm just doing it now. But I caught some freaking megas, like two nice ones, a couple other good ones, but man, this was an awesome day of fishing. So I hope you enjoy it. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and just thank you for the views. Thank you for the support. Good afternoon. Throwing around this little Helgramite, which I'll show you here in a little bit. Let's see how many smallies we can get on. I'm thinking we'll be able to at least find one. So here's the Helgramite I'm throwing. It's actually called, but here out of the pack. Fishing Complete Ink. It's a case large Helgramite. Three and a quarter. It's a natural color. So this is what I'm throwing around. I got it on a sled jig by North Branch Tackle. I think the weight's like a one eighth. Oh, there was a bite. There was a bite. It's a good sign. Nailed it hard, but <clears throat> I don't know if it was a little one. Let's see if he bites it again. Let's see if we get another hit. I know there's another one in here that's going to smash it. There's creek smallies. They love these hugger mites. Could have been a little one too. And this is like a number, I think it's like a number two hook. Or a two-aught hook, I mean, so. There we go. There he is. Oh, that's a nice one. He did hit it. That's a good one there. That is a big one. Woo I lost them. Look at that. That is a freaking nice Penn's Creek Smalley right there. Good healthy one. Woo! on him. Oh no, you're mad. There we go. Heck yes. Man, those smallies, those big ones, they hit like that. You know it's you know it's a big girl. Uh, it just gets the freaking heart pumping. Again, just using this little hogger mite here with the sled. It's blue. This color is blue, obviously, as you can see, but it worked great in cricks. And if you have like a lot of structure and stuff, you can uh, hook it into the plastic, hook the tip of the bait into the plastic. So you're not going through so many baits as your crick fishermen and river fishermen know. It's snag city around these places. Alright, we're gonna keep casting this freaking Ruby Helgramite, even though they say it's natural, but I mean, I guess it probably is. Helgramite probably is this color at a certain phase, I'm sure. Oh, kind of felt like a bite. But it's supposed to rain for like the next couple of days, so I'm hoping with these storms coming in, it's gonna get them. Get him feeding here. A little chilly out. It's still a little on the cold side. There we go. There's another one. Oh, it was right up against the bank. Very nice one. Very nice one. Oh, he 
mad. And pop right out too. So like blind in one eye. I got a messed up eye. It's weird. It's like gold. <laughs> the other eye's red. It's weird. Another one. Battle scars and all. Yes. Let him go. It's good. Firing up. Bite must be on today. I was debating whether or not to come out after work. I'm glad I did. And that one there just picked it up. Kind of just lifted up and didn't even get to set the hook. Just reeled him in. He was real close to the bank. And there's two so far. Any more we can get. Oh, I don't know if that was another one or not. Set the hook, hook sets you free, right? There we go, that's the cast. I don't know what I keep hitting or what that is. Something right there. Oh, oh a little bit smaller. Oh, three. That's crazy. guy I'll take him get a healthy little one but I'll grow up to be a hog one day well, I guess that's offensive I'll grow up to be a big smally one day I don't want to offend anybody all right I'm gonna roll I don't know if it was that one I thought like I said kept hitting it but We're gonna keep casting in here. I haven't even moved yet. I was I am gonna go up to a different hole up here, but sometimes a little bit extreme to get to the spots, but it's all worth it when you get there. Alright, spot number two. We're gonna get on him here, I can tell. I can smell it. You can just smell the crawfish. Look right there, one just jumped. I'm catch him. I'm gonna catch him. Oh! I had a bite right there. I don't know if that was him. A different one, but. Yeah, but sometimes you can get the spot. I was just talking to my friend about this the other day. Sometimes you get the spots and you can just smell the crawfish. Or it just smells fishy. Tell you what, it's trout season now, but these smallies, I just can't get away from them. Here soon, they're going to be is starting to make beds. Oh, there's a carp. You can see it in the water, but that's a good sign too. Somebody told me once, and I believe it to be true from fishing and seeing it, but you find carp, you usually find bass too. So. That being said, oh, I just had a bite 100%. Percent of fish. Let's get it back up there. It's kind of whoa, it's kind of weird. I'm standing on a hill here, so it's kind of weird to hook the set the hook. There we go. There we go. Not a bad one. 
one either. Just can't, just can't make this up. I mean, these hogger mites in these creeks. All right. I'm gonna cast back up there because I'm pretty sure there's a couple of fish up here. Cause that one hit it. Passed it in a different spot and I felt like another one had it, but that one just had it and was kind of swimming with it. I didn't really feel him bite. Oh, one and 100% just had it in its mouth. Why didn't I set the hook? Yeah, that was 100%. I felt a little, I felt like a little bump, but I wasn't sure if it was a rock. And I lifted up, and as I lifted up, look at him slipping all over the place. Get it together. And as I lifted up, I felt him, and then I felt him drop it. Dang it. Let's see if we can get another bite out of him. Yeah, but these smallies, man, they're fired up right now. I hope they're fired up too, wherever you guys are, wherever you're fishing. I mean, I just love fishing in general, so. I just strap a GoPro on and get out and I fish. But I hope, I hope everyone else is getting out too and fishing. When I find one, I feel like there's a school of them in here. Oh no, I don't know. I don't know, it kind of felt like a bite. I think I'm just getting trigger happy now. I'm gonna catch four of them. Just kind of. <laughs> Just kind of waiting for that next bite. There it is. Oh, there it was. There it was. He hit it hard too. Up in the tree limbs. That startled me. Dang it. All right, well. Let's see if we can get them. Might have just cast in front of their face so much they're just getting annoyed now. That one smacked it. There's one right there. I don't know if it's a bass, but something definitely just jumped right there. Oh, that's a good one. That's a monster there. That's a nice one. Holy crap. I really wish I had a scale right now. I don't know how big he is, but that might be my might be my PB. If not, he's he's definitely high, high three. Woo! Jeez, this is insane. This is freaking crazy. I can't believe I just hooked this fish. 
he is sitting there. You know he's free yet. Look at that. That is why you get out and you fish the cricks, man. Whew! I am shaking. That, is so, that was so... This is so freaking fun. This hat, that's right there. I mean, listen to me, I'm fumbling my words. This is why you fish. This is why we fish. There is no better feeling when you hook a freaking giant like that. That is insane. Well, after hooking that, jeez. I mean, I'm, st I'm still shaking. That's insane. But I'm gonna end the video here. I'm gonna continue to fish, but if I hook into more, I'll just keep this video rolling in the next one, but get out there fishing. I mean, I hope this inspires you to get out there fishing. Stay anchored and just have fun, have a blast. I'll see you guys soon.